Yo, yo, yo. What's up, people? Welcome back to another episode of No Big Deal Podcast, a.k.a. No Big Deal TV. This is episode 51. This is the NCAA Mount Rushmore show. And I got my host, my peoples, my family, OG Raider Ragu, and Andre, the sports junkie. No problem, y'all. I appreciate y'all coming through. Yes, sir. So, um... If y'all haven't uh, watched episode 50, the prediction episode, thank y'all for showing love on there. Got a lot of great feedback from that, man. Uh, Sports Junk, I wish you could have pulled through, but um, thanks for the feedback for that, y'all. I appreciate that, man. I was showing love. We finally hit 7K subscribers. Let's keep going. Keep going. And um, subscribe. They follow from Burners. Let's get my man in the one thou wild club. Come on, y'all. Y'all really rock with me like y'all say y'all do. Show us that love, man. We this is the only we give y'all that raw and uncut. On this show, we talk about whatever. You know? No so, doubt. but we we the only ones that give y'all that raw and uncut pause. But this is this is what we do. We do this for y'all. Appreciate so it. anybody that come through, man, I appreciate it. Man, we got you over there. Thank you. No doubt. No doubt. So, fellas, this is the NCAA Mount Rushmore. So, Drayden, no disrespect, it's only right we start with USC. So, I know you you're good. Okay. So, um, oh wow, this man. yeah, <laughs> this is how you gonna do me right out the gate, huh? Hey, hey, this is what. <laughs> Hey, got to, man. I got to, OG. <laughs> I told y'all, I'll make you work when you come on this show. <laughs> yeah. Um, and we're about to make you work, too, as the host. Uh, I'm the mediator, so I'm just... Well, it's, you know... I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you. I give my mom... Back, it's tailback you what it's been referred to as um... Even though they've had tons of All Americans, tons of professionals, tons of All Pros, uh, Hall of Fame NFL players, a lot of Hall of Fame. Tell back you though, right? Right. Uh, and this is like individual career records, like achievements. Um, are we going? Yeah, okay. So are we just like saying Hall of Fame, the of course, NFL one hundred all time teams and stuff like that and the so impact everything. of what they had on the game. So most definitely. Everything and then just that they went to USC. Right? right. Not it, it's not just what they did as a Trojan, what they did. Right. Period. All right, all right. All right, that's you good. You ask me, shoot. USC can have Two or three Mount Rushmore's, in my opinion. Yes. You know what I'm saying? That's what makes it real hard. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't going to get you on that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, need I mean, the first name in my mind, bro, you know, in the league, he didn't win the Super Bowl, but OJ, man. OJ, definitely. Definitely on the. Uh, yeah, I see Mount Rush. Let's, let's get this shit uh cracking off right now, man. OJ. Yes, sir. Simpson. Orenthal James Simpson. Ten peace, my man. Yes, sir. Uh you know, uh, I don't want to use up too many spots too quickly and then forget about somebody, man. Um um, we could do an honorable so mentions too. We could do an honorable mentions. Everything too, accomplished. Yeah. Everything accomplished. So MA as well. Hall of Famer, Super Bowl okay. winner, Super Bowl MVP, uh, rookie of the year. Uh you name it. So Allen, Simpson Allen. You knew I was gonna say that shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> There, there's, there's defenders deserving on there. I think. Uh, and it's, uh, see, this is this one hard. This is tough. I mean, uh, oh, it's tough. This one is tough. Man. <laughs> 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 I 
It's tough, bro. I'm you. This is this is uh that's a rough one. All right, so, and to be honest uh, with you, that group, USC probably could be a whole episode by itself, man. It could. Because you USC. even have to go into like the bare every like single stat to put the poor guy. Exactly. This is just off. So uh all right. Reggie, bro. I mean Reggie, the top yeah. names, right, are the are the ones. And it's kind of recent bias, maybe, but I don't want to hate on all of the dudes in the seventies that won championships. Um, in the sixties they won championships. I don't want to hate on none of them dudes. Right? Can't yeah, no, no, we ain't gonna do that. I only know what I know. You feel me? Internet was available. This shit is really those names aren't aren't stuck in eyes like the Reggie Bushes. And uh, you know, Marcus, even OJ to a certain extent. OJ played recent enough to where you know, and he had that issue, you know, he had that whole thing where everybody knows about who he is. But any beside with that beside down, that's four people. I'm only got one guy. And I know I'm going to be like, damn, no, nah, I want to put him. But OJ, Marcus, and Reggie. OJ, Marcus, is pretty damn good. Um, hmm. All right, what they hold. That's a, that's a, Palmer? that's a solid ass list, too. Palmer or no? Or are we talking about like, Parson. So I to be say, honest with Dre, you, Dre, he he won't be on my Rushmore. He probably won't even be in my honorable mentions, bro. Nah. No, I just wanted to see because I know mm-hmm. he. I remember not him. not in mine. I don't know about anybody else. So he won't be. On. No, you oh, have the mind. minimum. You have the minimum be in the uh in camp, bro. You got to be a Hall of Famer to get on this list. So exactly. Oh, in camp. Oh, 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 oh. Reggie is not, huh? No. no, I mean, no, we said just like achievements and what they've done. Like, no, they ain't got yeah, to be bro. But boy, even Reggie if so, I don't, I, I just don't you, see Palmer. What you do, what you do though, I'm going to set yeah. that, uh, I'm going to set that precedent. So, you know, oh, you can't be on here. That's the ultimate achievement. Yeah, like I just say, like individual career records, achievements, uh, you got to say, you know what? If they are Hall of Famers, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Didn't sit right with me saying Reggie anyway. Reggie was more impactful as fuck. Don't get me wrong. And the way Reggie went about his business was. But, uh, like we said too, impact on the team, what they did on that team. And he, like you said, he was impactful on that USC team. So, yeah. But so was Lindell. Lindell shit just wasn't as flashy. You feel me? But, but then he that had stat, more that stat league. that you put on that one program, bro, can can you can name Lindell in the honorable mentions, or he could be on the Rushmore too, because that yeah. stat you gave was crazy. You talking about I had the stat of the year, you had the stat of the year too with that love, that, that was crazy, crazy Lindell. They don't give a yeah. I feel like he don't get his props on the damn touchdowns he scored in just three seasons. Exactly. Um. Yeah, all right, so. But then Reggie would be more successful than Lindell afterwards, though. So that, that would that's how that could be separated. But all right, let me get back to it. Get back to the brush more. Uh mm-hmm. uh I guess the next obvious thing is Junior. Rest Ooh. in peace, Junior. Hey uh. Hall of Famer. Oh, yeah. Say how? Uh, yeah. He got on the Patriots. He won a, a Super Bowl. What you got with the Patriots? Um, you know no. damn well. You know damn well he didn't. That was our undefeated season. <laughs> uh, he was so disappointed when he said that. 
Bro, because that man literally passed away like a few weeks uh, after that. I know, Super and I'm Bowl. trying. So I'm trying not to even laugh at that. But um, wait a minute, Eli Junior, Manning, man. Think so. You sure? Hey, you on, sure? Say y'all didn't win? No, he, he yeah. I'm uh, with the Patriots. I know he didn't, but he uh he was also with Rodney Harrison on the Chargers, and they got to a Super Bowl as well. But they also lost that to the 49ers. Oh. Ricky Waters. Ricky Waters. Okay. Also, Diego. by the way, Eli, real quick, uh, Eli Manning, if you're watching this, thanks a lot. Eli's going to the Hall. He's going to ride them two victories right into the Hall of Fame. Right. So, uh, right. yeah, thanks a lot, Eli. You, because you of you, got, we could have had two more Super Bowls. Who cares? So you got OJ, Reg. Marcus Jr. No, I took I'm taking Reggie off. You taking Reg off? Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I'm interested to see who you're gonna put. He's not in the Hall of Fame. Um, still won still won the Super Bowl though, Rago. Yeah, but the ultimate player achievement. Yeah, no Super Bowls for Sayo. And I could, but I could, still, it's just it's still it's still the impact of what Super he did. Bowl winner, I could I could probably do Super Bowl winner and Hall for all four, if I think about it long yeah. enough. Um, man, it's a lot of great players. It's a lot of great players, bro. Uh, let's say, uh, how about Anthony Munoz? The O line, damn. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. O lineman. I think three time All America, um, perennial All Pro in the league and Hall of Famer. Uh, so Moon, I, I'm I'm gonna say Marcus O J Marcus Moon. <laughs> and Junior man and. Mm-hmm. No disrespect to uh, Lance Swan. He's a name. Ronnie Lott. These guys immediately jump out at, at me, too. Ronnie, Lenny, uh, Frank Gifford. Frank, I'm a... Um, shit, bro. It's a lot of, you know, a lot of people, you know. Keyshawn Johnson, hell. Uh... There's a lot of people that you got to say honorable mentions. It's about 100 honorable mentions. It's a 1,000 honorable mentions. That's what I'm saying. That's a, that's, a whole, a that's, a whole, that's a whole episode by itself. So, mine's, I ain't going to lie. Lot is definitely going to my. I feel uh, you. I feel you. Mount I struggle with not putting Lot in. Woo. This is bias, y'all. You know who I'm going to say. My boy, Troy Palomar. Troy Palomar. <laughs> See? Yeah. yeah. See? Yeah, yeah, and Troy, Troy's got to be honorable put, mention gotta on my list. Troy, I got to put Troy. I'm sorry, OJ automatically get a spot on the Mount Rushmore. Yeah. Um. And you so got you talking about O line. You talking about O line, uh, OG? I'm gonna go with Ron Mix. Wow. A hey. lot of people say Ron Mix don't even deserve a talk on the Rushmore, but y'all don't know what he did NFL wise and USC wise. Yeah. So, but that's um, why I'm like saying, you said, honorable disrespect to those guys that won championship, you know, right, a, a long time ago, but they, they did. Because you said, you said Swan, of course, Marcus, even my man Willie Wood was a, like, you know, like, damn, I could have put you could have put Willie Wood up there too. Also, uh, I left Heisman winners off: Charles White, uh, oh, Mike sure. Garrett. Ricky Bell, I left all these guys off. Um, we should have, uh, we should have said this for a whole different episode. Bruce Matthews, no great SC quarterback. So. Bruce no. and Clay Matthews. Bruce and Clay. Right. Brian Cushions. Oh my God! No, I'm, I'm saying Bruce no, and one. Clay Senior. Exactly. Right. So, no, that's Bruce, what I'm saying. Bruce. Bruce. No, no, Matt. Who? You broke up. What'd you say? 
also went there, right? It was Who it did? was a it was a uncle, a father, and a son all lost good. All of Matthews, I think, went to um USC. Didn't they? All of them did. Yeah. So just I think all of them did. So uh Clay had a junior, huh? That was that was Clay Matthews Jr. Yeah. Clay Matthews right. Jr. And then they uncle. I think Bruce, Bruce, yeah, was, Bruce was the uncle. Yeah, all right. He he was first. He was the oldest. And then yeah, all right. Dre, what show uh um, USC? Dre. Reggie yeah. Bush, OJ Simpson, Matt Weiner. I have Matt Weiner in there. I think he's a – I thought he was a great USC quarterback. Matt Weiner so almost won three national championships, and he went to the Heisman room twice and won one. So, definitely – He didn't do anything in the league, but at SC, he's definitely yeah. one of the most decorated. Yeah, because he was, and he was a he was left handed, correct? A left handed line. Yes. <laughs> that boy could fling yes. that son of a bitch. He he oh. was flinging that ball. Ooh, pause, brother. Come on now. It's a G rated show. Flinging that ball still sounds a little dangerous, bro. But um, yeah. Yeah. This is still yeah. sounds a, still sounds a little dangerous, Dre. But I'm gonna I'm let you. Stop. That sounded a little dangerous. Of course, Lynn Swan <laughs> and Lynn Swan, and then AD. There's a there's a there's a there's a variety. But for me, it was AD. Who like, wait? AD who? Hmm. Oh no, no no! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to Anthony say. Davis. I didn't mean to say AD. I did not mean to say AD. I was Anthony, saying um, Anthony Davis, was, AD, right? That's that's who I thought you meant. But and I was gonna say I was gonna give you props for mentioning him because I didn't. Um, but yeah, even him. Yeah, yeah. So what's the separator for this uh, Mount Rushmore is what you did after you left there, because there is so many guys that was great as Trojans. You feel me? So the separator on this. Rushmore list, I would say, for me, was um, what you did after. Like, Hold on. Thing. And this man, Keyshawn Johnson, has a Super Bowl, too, under his belt. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> number one overall pick. A um, couple, you know, 2,000-yard season. And who's another good rate? Who who was another great receiver for you guys outside of Keyshawn and all them? Who was another and Swan? Swan was another one, but do you have like a top three in terms of receivers in that list that you could have named? Well, like there, like at the school plan? Yeah. Or total? No, at the school. There, I feel like you, uh, I feel like yeah. we're missing. Oh. I feel like there's a whole bunch of other guys that we're missing. Damn it, for Martin. sure, for sure, key. If you're talking one. great receivers, for sure, Damn, key. Mar um, <laughs> Swan as well. We could have done Swan a whole well. episode. <laughs> uh, and then that third guy would be a tough selection. It's a few oh. guys. We talking about at the school that made some big cat. Mm -hmm. The history is so rich. Your history is rich. Like yeah. you have so yeah. many great players that come so in. So many and out big games. So many big games, man. Rose Bowls, Natties. Yeah. Yeah. You know, when I was little, Ragu, like 2007, 2008, I used to always think, like, USC can never play in a BCS national championship. I always felt like the Rose Bowl was their game. That was – that that was – USC made the Rose Bowl the Rose I don't know Bowl. Why you, I don't know why you as a youngster thought that, but that is – the reason why that was is because – from 
man, I started watching, you know what I'm saying, a long way back when it was Pac-8 and uh, Big Ten. <laughs> um, the, the Big Ten champion and the Pac-10 champion played in the Rose Bowl, bro. And took before the BCS era, mm-hmm. that's that's what that bowl game was used for. So USC as the Pac-8, Pac-10, Pac-12 representative played in the game all the time. Um, you know, they played Ohio State. They played Michigan. They played them all. Michigan State. Uh and you know, there's been years where the Big Ten came out here and did their stuff. But for the most part, SC would uh would handle business, man. And you probably <laughs> I, I don't know, man, maybe even as an infant, you might have like been listening to the games. <laughs> uh and that's how you knew that SC instinctively you knew that the Rose Bowl was their game. But you was right. You was right in thinking that. That's true. I'm, I think I'm not gonna lie, I just used to always think. Like if USC is not in the Rose Bowl at that time, I was like, I don't, I low key don't want to watch because that was their game. Yeah, and especially when the Pac-12 would would let the Big Ten do their stuff, you'd be like, man, we needed SC in the game. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, I remember Wisconsin having that yes way one year with balls with UCLA, man. I'm like, oh come on, Bruins. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, hey, come on, man. But yeah, yeah. All right, Coop, you got another school. I think he gave us four. You got another school? You... Yeah, let's go to Dre School, O State. Ooh, we. Ohio State. It's only right that now, Dre start this one off. Let, let's start this one off. And it has to be strictly players, right? Not, not any, just players, right? No coaches. Well, yeah, you said just players. No. Oh, I was is one. I'm my top five for me was Chris Carter. You know, around um, Rushmore is four, right? Yeah, but I want to do. If I could, I would make my Mount Rushmore ten. <laughs> nah. So you you you. Uh, world disaster, then. <laughs> but no, um, I I mean I'm gonna start with the the obvious. Ezekiel Elliott was a legend for us. Chris Carter, Jim Trestle, Chase Young. One of I when he went to the Commanders, and that was my fourth one, Chase Young. Because when he went to the Commanders, everyone knew who Chase Young was. That he was a dog in Ohio State. No quarterback wanted to see him in his in their face. Hey, ask Joe Burrow, bro. Hey, bro. We didn't cheat that game. That's why. No, I remember Chase was. The oh one yeah, Burrow yeah. That, I'm thinking. Yeah, Burrow. yeah. Joe called, Joe called Burrow. Joe We're not Burrow. calling him Joe Burrow anymore. We are calling him Cody Rhodes. Nah, that ain't Cody Rhodes. Johnny Quest. <laughs> if anything, he's Dustin Rhodes. <laughs> See, all school. If you want to, shoot, you could put you could do a list of receivers as well. Yeah, Carter definitely will be in my Mount Rushmore. Ain't no O State without Orlando Pace. He is definitely one of the solid O linemen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, another O lineman, Jim Parker. All right, yeah. And I'm Dick LeBeau. I mean, if, yeah. if, you, if you want to keep it 100. Dick LeBeau. Now, like I said, honorable mentions. Um, Chris Spielman. I can't put him up there. Bill Willis. Really? Okay, Bill well, Willis. How come not? Legend how come- um, I just don't. I don't know, Dre. He's like, I just can't. <laughs> I can't do it. But I'm also, I think I'm also looking at it as what they've done in the league as well. Oh, okay. So that's what I, I think I'm, that's probably I'm, what I'm has a big impact on it as well, too. And uh, Spellman ain't really done nothing. I was thinking, like I said, uh, Steve was a dog. But, but yeah.
Because y'all have some talent running through that school. Right. Um, Ooh, what you got, folks? Stay. I got Archie Griffin. I forgot a part. Number one. Up mm -hmm. there. Go ahead and put that in full. You know what I mean? He the first <laughs> face they would chisel out on that motherfucker. Um, <laughs> then I'm going to go Orlando Pay. Big Pay. Oh, That's my boy. Chris Carter. Mm -hmm. And I got to go Eddie George. Eddie yeah. George. Oh my Eddie God. George. What? I forgot about damn it. Eddie George. Forgot about E Man. See, E Man in my honorable mentions. Like him, Ryan Shazier. Honorable mention. Uh, AJ yeah, Hawk. Zeke. I got a bunch of them boys on defense I can put in the honorable mentions too. But I hate AJ Hawk though. <laughs> Because he destroyed the Steelers in the Super Bowl. Honorable mention, Jay Way. Yeah. Jay Way. Forgot about um, Jay Way. Honorable mention. Yeah. Um, it seems like more defenders should be on there, but Chase Young has just been so disappointing. But at the <laughs> school, I feel you, Dre, but I just can't even honorable mention him because – Not right he now. Just, Hell no. Nah. I don't know what it is either. I think he – and that's what I don't want to happen with Tyree Wilson. And I don't want him to get kind of like lost in what type of defensive lineman he, he is. Like, is he a rusher or – what is he? What is – what would you say Chase Young is? I know we – I, I looked at him more as like a pass rusher kind of guy. Do you – is that – I guess. So how many – so in that way you you – Judge him by sacks, which he doesn't have a bunch. Right. In a major way, this is a pause. He's just too small to be a rush. <laughs> I just don't see. He's in the wrong position. He made it work at Old State. That's fine. But now you're in the league where it's just not working for you. Why don't you try linebacker? I as I mean, a rusher, it's not working for me. And I hope the Saints can do something, you know, with them. But so what you saying, Coop, stand stand them up and let them rush? Or are you talking about playing the pass and all that? Put him at linebacker, see what he can do. Inside or outside back? So you talking about totally standing them up to have them do something different? Mid, off mid, off. put them in the middle. I put them in the middle. Put him in the middle, stand him up. What's his what's his height? Let me look at him. He like six three. And He's six I three? remember I think. Um that would be something you would do on the old college football game. Be like, I'm gonna mm -hmm. put this dude in that middle. <laughs> sometimes it will work, sometimes it wouldn't. But you look at his attributes like man, he fine. Put this thing that up. Middle. <laughs> you recruited him as a D tack. I mean a DN. Remember you used to you used to change his position. So Chase Young is six five. He don't look six five though. Right. That's what I'm saying. Mm -mm. He a DN, man. Oh. Damn, if, if, if these say so, oh wow, I did not know he was six five. He just looked so much shorter than that. <laughs> They be bro, they be shocking you sometimes. <laughs> we play small. Exactly. That's what I'm like. You know what though? Mm. We ain't gonna make this about no chase, y'all. Yeah, all right. That was my yeah, that was my uh <laughs> yeah Ohio State four. Good good yeah. luck with the Saints, brother. That's all I can say. Is that where he's at? Yep. I know because the American Fame was like, I'm glad he ain't on the squad no more. See that six five, uh, two hundred and whatever he is, that's gonna always get get him employment. Okay. You know what I mean? 
I feel you. He ain't got to worry about being unemployed, but he, he he's just in the league. He just hasn't been that guy. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. Now this one should be interesting. Let's go to Pittsburgh University. That's easy. Ooh, let me hear this. Tony Dorsett. Tony. Dan Marino. Dan. Darrell Revis. Mm. Aaron Donald. Wow. Do you mind if I go ahead and put a few in there? Sure. Go ahead. Larry Fitzgerald. Mm. Shit. That's That's one. Sorry, sorry, Fitz. I, you know. Yeah, <laughs> Curtis Martin, running back. That he mm, played for mm, the Jets, mm. correct? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And then Ragu just made mention of him because he also won the Super Bowl with New England. Darrell Revis, and then Russ Grimm. Yeah, I think um, Dan Marino definitely is a uh, probably one of the best quarterbacks to come out of Pitt. Um, definitely got to put Fitzgerald up there. Aaron Donald, definitely. That's a no-brainer. Um, see, that fourth one. It's, a hall, it's one of them Hall of Fame lists, too. You can't get on this one without being in the Hall as well. Exactly. <laughs> Dorset, it'd be to, between Dorset and Darrell. But my most honorable mention would definitely be Mike Dicker, though. Mike Dicker, for sure. Mike Dicker would definitely go on there. Curtis Martin, definitely going there, too. And and Joe Smith will definitely go on there. And Joe Smith, Joe Smith quietly had a successful NFL career where he's not mentioned enough. That's a great Reno solid and Donald are untouchables, I would say. Mm -hmm. Perhaps uh, on my list, I would say there's argument on Tony D and Darrell, but both Hall of Fame guys. So, I, I heard this. I was waiting for you to come back. Mm -hmm. I think this is Parcel said this, and then I heard this on a podcast. I did. That uh, if in any given season in the NFL, you was the best player at your position, you are a Hall of Famer. Do you agree with that? Statement? If you were the best position, if you were the best at your position, you are a Hall of Famer. Well, any year in your career, when it was all said and done for that season, they was like, okay, as far as safeties go, this dude was the best. This, you know, or or whatever position, QB, receiver, running back. Just think about guys now that have had seasons where they was the best player. They was, the you know, the best whatever. Right. Like Mahomes is the obvious one, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Besides somebody like him. Um, and even not even, you know, you can, you can think about when you doing your career watching football. Guys that you know was the best player when he was balling. When I, I at first I felt like it was a little too simplistic. Like, damn, I mean, you only got a ball one year. But if you think about it, if you're the best player in the National Football League at, at like, say, center, it's anything. I, I said center right. just to name anything. D tackle. Everybody said you was the best. You was the best guard. And that means, man, you, I think you are. You are all favorite because you obviously was all pro, right. which is one of my prerequisites. Mm -hmm. um, and, man, if you was the best out of all of them people that have ball in the, in the NFL, bro, then you, 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 are, you are. There's so many people that play, it ain't shit. You feel me? 
Facts. And you was the guy. You was the best DN. You was the best inside linebacker that year. Like a guy like Luke Keekley. Is he eligible mm. to be in the Hall of Fame? He's a Hall of Fame mm. player, bro. Period. Should be. Period. Yeah. Over a guy like Erlacher. I didn't I never really had Erlacher as the best at linebacker in any given year, right? Hey, Lance Briggs. Man, y'all watch Coop, you watched football when Erlacher was playing, right? They put him in all yeah. of the back. That was a suspect one to me. It was do last breaks on his own team. Just, just like you to can me. say, honestly, because I'm glad you brought that up. Lance Briggs is like a Terrell Suggs. When it was, it's been years. Terrell Suggs had a better year than Ray Lewis. Yeah. You know, yeah. So that, that's yeah. a great, perfect way to put that for real. Both, so, yeah. both of those two, yeah. Um. And right. Terrell Suggs had years where you say he was the best uh, three, four. Uh, in, 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 Hall of Fame player. So many guys that play and was just got. And, and ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, bro. It's tough to play football, pro football like that. Um, God bless him. But yeah, you know, right. I was, she was I ended up. You know what I'm saying? No brainer. And as soon as the, as soon as the time to fucking hourglass play, the football, yeah, with him being out of football, like, I know, but still, this guy. Yeah. So, what you think? One being the best is that good enough to get you in the yellow jacket? No, because then what What would – um? so that means you'll just be a one-hit wonder then. Give me an example of somebody that I've had. Oh, shit, Ragu. Nope, Ragu just left. I'm going to wait till he get back. Just like – um. I'm going to say this on your up on behalf of the Celtics. I'm going to jump to basketball. Yeah. Isaiah Thomas had that one good year. And I was like, one year don't make, just because you made that one all-star, you, that don't mean you're great. You don't eligible Hall of Fame. All right, right, go back. Okay, so one, one player. Oh, that was, that's, uh, but that's basketball, though. You said football. Um, I'm going to say D'Angelo Williams from the Carolina Panthers had one solid year and hasn't done nothing since. Yeah. He was bouncing around from team to team. That doesn't make him eligible for a Hall of Fame, in my opinion. But everybody was like, oh, D-Will, D-Will, is D-Will, D-W-34 and all this other shit like that. Had one solid year. And then maybe he hit one more 1,000 yard. And then after that, he didn't really do nothing. So I'm gonna say All right, so you Williams, saying that the, the running that back one remembers, year when D'Angelo Williams was uh, like literally, I think was he, he was top five. Running, he was like top five in Russia. Was and, he the best running back in the league that year? Oh nah, 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 he wasn't. That's what he that's what Parcells, that's the quote. Like, oh, the, so he also oh, like the best that year. Yeah. Um, so, like, a guy whose name jumped out to me was Josh Jacobs. So, mm-hmm. in in Parcells, by his definition, in 2022, the season that Josh Jacobs had when he led the uh, league in yards from scrimmage and led the league in rushing, mm-hmm. um, he was the best running back in the league. Yeah. Josh Jacobs has had a solid career too, and he's had the year of being the absolute best. I don't think that uh, he might not have been first team All Pro though. They, they made to get that shit to CMC that year. I, we'd have to look it up, but you know that that stat wise, he did that. But you, what, you see, Josh right? is 20... a Hall of Famer. Yeah, 2022, not last year, the year before. When he, and he's you know, saying Josh is a Hall of Famer? 
I'm saying by his definition, by that definition that we're talking about. And the reason why I say this, uh, Ragu, is because you got to remember the first two years he did with the garbage line, the 2019 year he had 1,100 yards. 2020, he had 1,000 yards. But he, but the only ending, you know, like years in 2021, he was hurt. And last year, we all know he struggled a little bit. You get that. But the thing is this, he tried his best to be consistent. If you're trying your best to be consistent, I say, yeah. But with D'Angelo Williams, is I think it's just a personal vendetta because his attitude was garbage. You know, you had that one year you thought you was it. He was cocky with it. I never once mm-hmm. seen Josh Jacobs be cocky at all. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It also, I think it also goes with your attitude as well. You put that one good year in where you had the yeah. 1,200 yards and then you was just straight do dog shit after that. When you didn't do nothing, you left your team, abandoned your team, and all this other stuff like that. Josh Jacobs never once abandoned his team. So that's why I would say that's a big difference between that. See, Josh Jacobs hit thousands of yards before he got that, though. He had a name for himself. D. Will really did. Yeah, he so already Josh yeah, Jacobs, he... a sitter Hall of Famer? Yeah, of course. And on top of that, he because he reminded me of OJ a little bit. He did it with a garbage line. A non-supportive line. So yeah. So if he hung it up right now, you would say yes on Josh. Perhaps not first ballot, but no. Somehow he'll get in there. Or you still need to put up a few more good years, good seasons. I would say there's nothing wrong with saying that. He still would need to put up a few more good seasons. Man, um, and I, mean, hold on, I got another one. Maybe Peyton Hillis. You said Peyton Hillis? Yes. Maybe Peyton Hillis. He was. I don't ever have him being the best player, best running back in the league for a season. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, I don't. He had a good, yeah, good year. But he yeah, just one good year. Just one good year. You're right. Yeah, he wasn't really. Talking about like guys like Adrian Peterson, Ricky Williams. Oh, my God, Ricky Will. Mm, now you really want to throw Ricky in there, though? I do. No, I'm, I'm sure really... there's a year where he oh, led the league gee, in Ricky, without even oh, looking. Ricky. You said, huh? There's a year where he led the league in rushing, right? Man, hold on. No, because – but here's the thing. I think and what we're forgetting other, is – I just think what we're forgetting is that benchmark. Ricky Ricky you was consistent. See. Ricky was consistent, though. See, Ricky here's has another, some solid years. Here's another benchmark also, though, uh-huh. for running backs. That 10,000-yard uh, barrier. All right, there's only so, so many of them that ran for 10,000. Yeah, Ricky was one. And in, factor in, factor in, I know, factor in that one of them years, you was the best running back in the league. Which so, I think in 2000, 2002, back. yeah, he was. Hey, Marv, now he was. I, Marv, I just want to go. Oh, that year, because I was going to look it up. I'm like, I know he had a year where he I think was. Two, is he the 2001 or 2002? God. When he first got to the Dolphins, he he did kind of have like nearly 1,900 yards where he was leading. It was either 18 some or 19 some. I'm sorry, Jerry, what'd you say? I was just going to say, yeah, you're definitely right about the Peyton Hillis one. Yeah. Because, bro, out in his entire seven year career, only one time did he hit over a thousand yards. It was over like how what was the number? Exactly. Well, not over. It was 1,177. Oh, yeah. He won the best of nothing in that year. He, he hit a thousand, but he just won the best. And so you're talking other- about one year when he was the best, right, Red Bull? Yeah. Yeah. He might have caught. He had a. He and a good, honestly, uh, we could uh, say that about a few uh, of these fools. We could say that about Sean Alexander. Oh, shit. Sean. Hey. A- hey. 
Right. That's a good one. That's a good one. You can say Sean. That's a good one right there. 2004, Sean Alexander? Yeah. Yeah, Sean Alexander went to a Super Bowl, too, but lost to Pittsburgh. Of course. Yeah, what you thought? He was the best Here's the thing with that. He was the best running back that year, for sure. And you want to know what's so funny, Ragu? After that, that was the year he had the – that was his triple crown year, right? Yes. 27, he the had The Super like, Bowl year? Yeah. And then do shit after that. So, yeah, Sean Alexander is a pure example of that. Now, and he, he That's why you have to have that 10,000-yard – uh, you feel me? You got to have that 10,000-yard barrier. As you well. need the 10 you racks. Just I definitely feel in, where but... you're coming from. I definitely feel you. You, you got to have that 10 racks. To, uh... How many yards do you think Josh has rushing right now? Don't look it up. Don't look it up. Just Josh with the um, – because he had the 18, right? Yeah. So, so he, uh, like I said, earlier, when, when when I, said, I said earlier, his first two years he hit 1,000. One year he had eight hundred. Last year, I think. Wait, hold on. He had eight hundred. I know you looking it up. Yeah, Dre, don't, don't look that up. Don't look that. I'm up, not Dre. looking hold it on. up. I'm not. Don't look that up. Um. Uh, so he had. Help me, Ragu. How I many? You are, when he, like when, he when he when he led the league when he led the league, how many did he have? Did he hit, did he hit eighteen? Uh, sixteen fifty three. Jesus Christ. I don't know. Hold on. And he had a thousand his first two years, right? Let's do the math here. So his first two <laughs> yeah. years, he had a thousand. Good. Damn, Ragu, who's making me work? Um I'm making us do this no, math. Hold on. Hold um, on. Hold on. No, I passed math. I'm about to get this. I'm getting this. Fuck all that. Um one more time, Ragu. How much was it? Six, 1653 when he led the league. I'm going to put 16. the Jeopardy music on. Mm-hmm. So the Jeopardy hit, music? Do, 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 he hit over 1,000 his first two. Do, 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 his third year, do, he had do, eight. Do, do, his third year, he had 850-something, right? And you said 16? What's the answer? What's the answer? Last year, he had eight-something. Time is up, Jeff. Hold on. No, 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 no. Josh Jacobs has 5,600 yards or less. I don't have an exact number, but he has 5,600 or less. Yeah, he got 5545. Oh, 5540. Wow, 500 yards off. Five years in the league. (laughs) This is about his sixth year, about to be a sixth year. He averaged over 1,000. You lagging, Ragu. Yeah, you're kind of breaking you out. You're going to be breaking out right now. You good now. So, just think, he's going to play running back for 10 years in the league. And he, like you just mm-hmm. said, Coop, he got to average a G ball to get to a C. That's tough. That's not. Which he has, for real. I don't know if that can be done. He can hit. He, he can hit. He can hit a thousand though. I think he hit a thousand a year. But think about it, this too. You said fifty five. He could. Uh, but even yeah, if he, he don't hit that, even right. if he don't hit that, this is six year, right? If he hit over six thousand, then he averages yes. over a thousand a year. Over a thousand, yeah. Which is which is still an incredible number to get in the Hall of Fame. Absolutely. Now, if you want to talk about, I say he's got to keep is, it is up. Ladamia, for the next four is years average, Thomas like you said. Like, yeah, you said the next four years, Ragu. Because yeah. if he if he can keep, if he maintains that for the next four or five seasons, Ragu, gee, whew. I'm gonna say this, Ragu. He will hit ten thousand in his career. Absolutely. And let me and God forbid he gets a serious injury. I hope he don't. If he stays healthy, you can, say, you can say injury, he can hit ten. You know, 
He can hit 10. You can say not including injuries. All right, check this out, y'all. Mm-hmm. Does Jonathan Taylor get to 10,000? No. John, no, yeah. That, that, that's he obviously it. had the year, right, where he was the best guy in 2020. One year, that whole one year. All right, does he get to 10? And second part? No. I'll look it up, Mr. Leaks. I'm looking at you. No. Mr. Does Blake, he get 10,000? I'll see you. Does he How get many 10, yards 000? does he have right now? Oh, that? I don't know. You on your own yeah, with him. That one. Nah, I ain't going to lie to you, Ragu. He is one person I do not. <laughs> Came you had the that one, in twenty twenty. Yeah, you had that one good year, and then this is going to be his fifth season. Let's his fifth care. season. This is going to be his fifth season. Came to draft after Josh, the the year after Jacob. Now his first year he was good. If you Hold had on. to guess, so wait, his first year he was good. So his first year he did hit eleven hundred, right? What was that? So what was the best year he had? What was the best year he had? Like eighteen hundred or something. So eighteen hundred. Let's, let's let me do my math real quick. Let's do the math. So eighteen hundred. So his rookie year he had eleven hundred. So what was last year? Anybody know what he? Now we can't look it up. Never mind. He didn't do anything last year and the past year before because he was hurt, right? No. He, well, the first time it was because of a holdout and he he wanted more money, and then the second one I believe was injury. Yeah, but I'm just trying to figure out. Last year he didn't even hit eight hundred yards. Because, like you said, he was I don't think he suspended, did. right? He was suspended. So, I'm going to say last year he hit about six or seven. I'll say So, let's maybe. put 650. Let's put 650. He was suspended. What did he do? Yeah, what did he do? Oh, no, no, he was – they put him on the uh, IR. They put him on IR. I'm going to play 850. He you said this out. is his fifth year? He's going into his fifth year right now. All right. I don't have the exact number, so if I'm doing my numbers correctly, I'm gonna say he had six fifty some one year. I'm gonna say he had eight, so forty five hundred and some more. Yeah. How many he so, got? So forty, forty, almost forty six hundred, forty five. And that's probably two. because that okay. eighteen hundred yards helped him. So does he get to ten? No. He said no at first. The way that line is looking, no. But he had a solid line to block for him. Yeah, I was going to say that. 2021, the coach line was – the coach line was G, right, Goo? And – but after that, that line just fell apart. Because his rookie year, he had we'll – he see. had over 1,000 his rookie year. That's when the line was built in 2020. He had nearly 1,200. That line was dope. Does he get to you say does he get to 10? Yeah. If Anthony Richardson's their quarterback, no. <laughs> mm. Anthony Richardson is trying too much to be like a Lamar Jackson. So I say no. CMC get to 10. We could go on. Absolutely. It's not a lot of guys that we have. That's that's nearly close to ten or getting to ten. Um, or can be on a trajectory of, of reaching ten. You know, they don't run the ball a lot in this day and age. But what do you think about this kid? Uh, I say Chubb can get to ten. Nick Chubb. I think Nick Chubb, Grub Chubb, my man Grub Chubb will definitely get to ten. He has to. He's, How many he's yards he got? He's an elusive back. Nick Chubb. I gotta say at least. What well, years? Uh, right, you what said you? you said uh uh very confidently that Christian will run for ten. You said Chris oh, who? Oh. Christian You think McCaffrey CMC. gonna run for ten? I, I don't I think, think he, he will. I don't think he got another 3,900 yards. <laughs> you don't think so? I don't. Let me look up his own. No, that, would be, that would be two outstanding years or three, like, really good. And I think 
all he's got left is maybe one outstanding and then a really good, and then he there's never there will be a fall off. They there will be a fall off coming. This is just like his best uh, year with the usage. This is like his best year, wasn't it? Last year I feel like was his best year. Yeah. Yeah. Last year was his best year, I feel like. Does he have one more in him? But he'll get close. He he's really gonna get um he's gonna be a guy that gets right there. And then if he wants to do hold on, hold on. Because I think we all know there is somebody else. Nick Chubb has sixty five hundred. Oh yeah, so he <laughs> and this is what Three, four, and you gotta realize six. too, it could have been way more Marv if he didn't get hurt. And this is about to be his seventh year, right, Bill? How many you got? Uh, I'm thinking Grub Chubb will definitely hit 10k. And if Stefanski hadn't <laughs> fucked up the you play said calling, if Stefanski oh, no. hadn't Bless fucked you, up the play calling in late 2020, Chubb probably would have had 200 more yards added to that 1,000 yard. So Chubb I don't coming know back about healthy. The, I don't know about that after the injury, bro. You, he got four. He got a run for thirty-five more hundred. I think he can do it. Right? I think he really can. He, I just got he, a little faith on. Ragu, he can do this. That's a lot, bro. That's it is. But, but here's got the thing, this. Ragu. Ragu, sixty. Let's do this. Sixty-five, right? Even if so, pause. Do it slow. We ain't asking him to go run fifteen hundred a year. Hell, if you can get that little eight hundred, you can get eight hundred for the next couple of years. You can still get the ten k. You would have to go eight hundred four years. Four years. Eight hundred four or five years. I'm yeah, eight hundred four or five years. That shit seemed like it's close. That's it is three thousand yards is a lot of yards. It is, it is, OG. It is. That's I it. definitely feel where you're coming from. <laughs> and now that that injury, that hey. injury is skeptical. I feel you. <laughs> right, feel you. right. He might not even get the, the touches. You feel me? Exactly. He might not even get the same totes. All right, here's okay. a good one. Here's okay. a good one. So this guy is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's going to his 10th year. The guy you bought eighty nine hundred yards. Yeah. How much? Eighty nine hundred. Ooh. His Does Zeke get to ten thousand? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. No. Uh. Uh-uh. Uh. Hey, I think Jerry. Right now, I think Jerry will see to it that he does. I think Jerry will see to it that he does. Wait, he's back Man, in Dallas, not right? Not this year, but next yeah, year Zeke for sure. Zeke is back in Dallas. Zeke is getting that 10. He's getting 10,000. Yeah, 000. oh, never mind, never mind. Because if he's back with Dallas, they have a great line usually. So. Oh, you ain't gonna, usually... he ain't going to run for it this year. Oh, no, right. he'll he get can, close. He can hit over a th- Wait, you got, he got 89? Yeah. He didn't get 1,000. <laughs> and he can he, get 1,000. He would have to get 11. Hundred almost exact. He gonna get that. Ten ninety six. Him and Derrick Henry will have ten thousand yards before the season's over. Oh, that's another good. One. Let's take. Let's take the King, King Henry uh, will definitely. I think King Henry got like what he got nine thousand right now. After this season, Derrick Henry can hit ten thousand. I think he got like ninety five or ninety six, if I'm not correct. So him, him and Zeke can get that ten. So. So he's a Hall of Famer, first of all. Shout out to Derrick Henry, my guy. You go into the motherfucking Hall of Fame, my boy. Uh, 9,500 yards. He'll get 10 this year. Uh, probably the only guy in a long time. We would, I could look it up, but I, I don't remember a guy hitting 10,000 in a while. I so, don't remember either, Ragu. That's what I'm saying. Shout like, out yeah. to the big guy, man. He can get 10. He's going to get that 10. Hey, man, I think, and this um, shit is, you know what this is doing? 
It's making me matter about the, how they treat the running backs. How they treat running backs and why they're not paying them. Right. Running backs get no love. Remember when yes. JT, Jonathan Taylor, Josh Jacobs, I remember they all sat out because motherfuckers didn't want to pay them. I remember the Vikings didn't pay their back. Who? Hey, man, this cat ran for nearly 12 hundy and 12 touchdowns last season. So he, he still, man. Shit. He's still relevant, man. Yeah. Told it that thing 280 times, which is, you know, even more than guys like McCaffrey, who has high usage rate. So, we, man, shout out to this dude, man. He's a, he's a beast. Week seven, he will have 10,000 yards. Easy. Week seven. Because he only going to get like about 50, 60 uh, on, the, on the 15th of September. I think <laughs> he ain't gonna get that many that game, but I he gonna get. I, I, I agree. Hey, shout out to Derrick Henry, man. He's gonna hit ten thousand. I think Zeke will, but not this year. You don't think this year though? I don't. I don't. Eleven? I don't see it, Zeke. Zeke, yeah. can you do it? I don't think so. And Father, you're right. Father, time is catching up to him. It's mm. tough. This shit is hard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, on the real, bro. But this shit that we we talking about, even that 6,100 that McCaffrey didn't ran for. And if we keep it in one thousand, well, we know he didn't call a bunch more. Uh, but that 6,100, man, that ain't, that's, that's, that's tough to do, brother. That, that is, is cold. That's not no He's easy cold. ass task. Especially, hey. like you said, he in his 30s now. So, yeah. And you said this is 10th year? Zeke. Zeke. Eight, about 8, 2016, he came to the league, right? 2015, 2016? This is, mm-hmm. this yeah. is uh, uh, about to be 8 for uh, Christian. Christian yeah, came in, in uh, eighth year? Uh, in 17. Henry is about to be 10 years. Yeah, ten, Henry about to be 10. I remember when he was old, dude. McCaffrey, so, no. So, uh, 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 Derrick Henry has told it the to rock two thousand times in the National Football. Ooh, mm. let's just let that sink in. Well, let's just you. First of all, you're a tough. You're a tough man, right? Am I? Is that? Is that? A, that's a given. That's a real given. You didn't ran a rock in the National Football League across nine seasons 2,000 times, 2,030 times to be exact. Man, that's totally a rock. And that's, man, you are, you are, I think a beast. I mean, you're one of the best players of our generation. He'll kill it. He'll kill it, bro. Yikes. That's what I'm saying. You go back and look at some, how many times, how many times has he told the rock total? Oh my god. Talk about tough. Mm. 2065 totes for this dude, man. Wow. He's young. Man. Told it the ball more times than Derrick Henry. So let me ask you this, which brings me to my next school, Alabama. Ooh. So with that being said, Derrick Henry automatically gets a Rushmore spot. Yeah, yeah. Also, on my Alabama also. Rushmore. Alto, Alto, man. What about, what about Mac J? What about him? Mac Jones. He's got a couple natties him? under him. What about him? They came in the league at the same time, and Ezekiel Elliott has told it to rock 35 more times than Derrick Henry. Wow. So wow. I would probably but take um Henry has 600 more yards, though. I'm so yeah. Henry will definitely Henry is a my mouth rush for Alabama players. Um without a doubt. I'm going to also say. I see Newsom. 
Wow. <laughs> no, no, Ozzy will be an honorable mention. I'm going to put Bart Star because we was talking about him one day. Bart Star would definitely be my Alabama Rushmore. Um, your boy, Snake. You can put him in the Mount Rushmore, Alabama. Mac Jones, I can't say because he ain't done shit in it. So, no, I can't say Mac Jones. Not even an honorable mention, no. Because he ain't done nothing in the NFL. College wide, yeah, cool. But in the field, I'm I'm trying to put both of them. So no. And Derek Thomas. So Alabama got a few people. King Henry is definitely my number one. So. Okay. Yeah, I was about to hobble up on hobble there too, but we have you know. Obviously, the usuals, the one that you already that you guys just stated, um, mm -hmm. Derrick Henry, of course, uh, Amari Cooper. I can't forget about Mr. Amar. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Ozzy Newsome. And that fourth one's going to be a little difficult. That one I got to think on. If you struggle with Alabama, you're gonna definitely struggle with this next school. Oh, this is a this, this is a struggle. Cooper, this is a struggle. Amari Cooper, Derrick Henry, Ozzie Newsom. Bro, I, it's right there. I was gonna say something else, but that would have been a big pause. It's right there. Devontae motherfucking Smith. I think he's eligible to. To, to add on that on that list. I mean, yeah, of course. Ken Stabler. The only reason why I did that because um Stabler won the Super Bowl. With the Raiders, yeah. And had Joe great Namath. numbers. And had great numbers at uh, Alabama. So most of Did he real quick, did Ken Kenny didn't win the natty with that Bama, did he? Uh, I don't think so. No. Not that I know of. Mark Ingram? I forgot about that boy. Mark Ingram so, will be in, a, in, a, in an honorable mention. I ain't putting him on Rush Rushmore, though. So because of oh, the numbers oh, that we just uh, uh, uncovered in the NFL itself, Derrick Henry is, is, is default. So the three remaining slots, it gets a little bit tough. Uh, I'm going to go Joe Willie Namath. Uh, you know, we we said on this program that his stats was a little suspect as a Hall of Famer, but that notwithstanding the impact that he made as the first a AFL quarterback to win the Super Bowl game, uh, so, you know, to kind of advance the league to where it is. Today. So we're going to go Joe Willie. We're going to Derek Henry, Joe Willie Namath. Uh, <clears throat> it's hard for me to not pause. Uh, it's hard for me to not say who will jump, bro. So, uh, I'm gonna give Julio a, a spot there, and then this is where it gets tough, man, because it could be DT. Uh, it could be a few other guys, but I'm gonna go with a guy by the name of David Palmer. Uh, mm. call him Deuce. <laughs> you can look him up. Uh, shout out to my boy Whip G. If you end up watching this, I'm gonna cut this up so we can see it. Um, <laughs> this is why we start playing Bill Walsh, which is now NCAA uh, college football, whatever year it is. Uh, we used to go back and forth, Paul. Uh, and then this just made me think about another guy that I didn't mention for USC, uh, Curtis Conway. So I played with the Trojans. My boy Whip G played with uh, Alabama, and 
It was basically this guy, David Palmer, versus Curtis Conway, man. Both of them would get at the QB. Both of them get at the receiver. Uh, return. Man, we, you know, you know how that was. So, yeah, shout out to my boy with G. Uh, David Palmer, man. Deuce. Deuce, Mc, uh, uh, not McAllister, but Deuce Palmer. Uh, and uh, uh, Joe Willie Namath, Derek Henry, and Julio Jones for me. You know what? You know what, man? Nah, let's do it like this. Let's do it. Let's do it like let's do let's do Julio like this. Derek, Joe Willie, Deuce Palmer. I mean, yeah, Deuce Palmer, and Nick Saban. That's how we. Ooh. Ooh. Fuck! Man, how can we forget about Nick Saban? How the hell can we forget about Nick Saban, Marv? Because I thought I about it the last minute. I didn't forget uh, Nick Jeff Saban. We could put coaches. I didn't forget about Nick Saban. I that just, man could be oh. on your men honorable mention and on your Rushmore. And that's over Bear Bryant. Yeah, I would take Thomas off and put uh, Nick Saban up there. Yeah, he's right. Um, because he brought so many guys. You feel me? And won so many, did so much winning. That Nick, bro. Got it. It's Nick. Mm. All right, this one here has a lot of players. This could be its own episode as well. Ready for this one? Yes, sir. The Hurricanes. Now, let me start this one off with saying he's not on my rush more, but I want to give an honorable mention to the late Mr. Jim Otto is on my honorable mentions as a Miami Hurricane. I didn't even know he went to Miami. You didn't? I did not Ooh. know that until right now. You just said it. Hey. I knew I, I forgot. If I knew I forgot, I thought you was about to say Sean Taylor. Yep. To be honest with you, Sean Taylor is on my and I, for you, I would think he was, and that's why when you said not on my list, I'm like, okay, maybe not talking about Sean, and you was. So Sean's uh, on my, uh, yeah. Sean's on my Mount Rushmore. Oh my God, as, bro! There's as people. much as much as I, as he was on my rival, he's on the rival, of course, but I got to put Ray Lewis as a Miami Hurricane Mount Rushmore. One of the other reasons why I start playing ball. Mr. Warren Sapp is also on my Mount Rushmore. Yep. And the playmaker himself, Michael Irvin, is on my uh, Mount Rushmore. Real quick, so since it's only four, I was about to say Sean Taylor, Michael Irvin, Ed Reed, and Ray Lewis. Now, Ed Reed's an honorable mention. Andre Johnson, Devin Hester, and Jim Kelly are also there. There's also, damn, bro, Edgerin, James. You can't forget about, you, did you just mention Andre Johnson, too? Oh, yeah. What's you did, okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bernie Kosar from Cleveland, from the Cleveland uh, Browns. He went to Miami. Did not know yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> did not know that. Jim Kelly. <laughs> Miami got a lot of boys, bro. <laughs> hey, but real quick, Ragu, you lived through it. How was it seeing Miami Hurricanes in the 80s? Or 80s or 90s, whatever year it was that they went ballistic. Hey, folks. What the hell? Hold on, here. Yeah, he'll be back. He'll be back. All right, right. <laughs> I was wondering what happened. Like, yo. I mean, we're going to do two more, and then I got to bounce a bottle. So I figured we can do. We did all stay right. You said what happened? We did all stay right. Yes, we did. We did USC, Ohio State, Alabama, and Miami. 
trying to think what other fucking schools we can do. Uh, the Maybe Gators. Hell, some no. What's wrong? Really, with I that? didn't really watch them like that though. For starters, they no, I'm not gonna say it. that's a terrible joke. <laughs> I'll I'll tell it to you off screen. No, go ahead. Aaron Hernandez came from there. <laughs> oh yo, <laughs> I forgot about her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, go ahead. That's what I was saying. I was like, no, nah, we, we this Tim is what Tebow we do. came out of there. Oh, oh, oh so uh Oh no, Miami. Uh, yeah, we all buy. <laughs> Ragu, I said, let's do the Gators because we haven't done them. He said, hell no. <laughs> I think I, say, I, I didn't say the Kings. Uh, yeah, yeah, Miami. Uh, I'm going to say Michael Irvin. And let up too many hits. I'm going to say Edgerin. Okay, so you got Edgerin. I think you froze again. Good. Damn. I'm over here thinking it's me. No, I'm not. I'm not froze. Oh, okay. I'm not froze. I'm thinking. Oh, uh, oh I'm like, yeah, he <laughs> Man, right. I, I was froze, but it thought. <laughs> you thought uh, I was thinking, thinking. Man, I'm gonna say. And what I'm really saying, this is great content, y'all. Bro, this shit is fire. Uh, this is hilarious. I, I tried to. This I, is this I is what I do. Look, How about this is what I do when I'm at work. I, I, I know like, what I think I'm gonna say. Uh oh. All right, all right. My, uh, uh Warren Sapp. Edger and James. Warren Sapp, Edger and James. Okay. And Russell, Maryland. And Ray is the honorable mention. Along with Ed Reed. And what? You can't Ooh. forget about Ed Reed. Jeremy Shockey. It's just, like I said, uh, that's a whole nother episode. Episode. Man. USC in Miami is a whole episode. Oh, Ragu, yeah. I got another And I can go right into why I left Ray off. I can go into why I left Ray off. Hey, hey Ragu, I got another, I got another show for you. Hurricanes versus USC. Tip for tack, See, all of it, bro. Without us Here's being biased, that's what I'm saying. Without us being biased, we could we can go tit for tat with the Hurricanes, Trojans. It's just so many damn people, bro. Mm -hmm. In my opinion, on that, you would have to you would have to narrow down what Trojans. Miami doesn't have enough history history to fuck with and see, bro. So you would have to say, okay, it's from this time to this time versus Miami. From right. This time to this time. Yeah, almost. Because C didn't have like three eras. Oh, they had like, they had the McKay era. No, they had Howard Jones. Why we talked about that being a long last time ago, but mm -hmm. shit. When they were playing football, uh, they was winning championships. We'll say McKay, then John Robinson, and then the Pete Carroll era. So they had three different eras. Whereas, okay, you're going to say they had Jimmy Johnson and uh, Coker. Right? Mm -hmm. So you can take one of them Trojan eras. I don't know what this Trojan. 
Otherwise, Trojans win that. Uh, Trojans, yeah. Trojans just too many guys. Pause. Um, <laughs> I didn't know Jim Otto was a hurricane, though. That's the, yeah. It was, was a singer. Hey, Ragu, you always learn something. You're always learning something new when you come on to the show. You're you're never gonna stop learning when it comes to sports. Um, that's what we try to do, man. Try to educate. Try to do that as well. Most. I got another one. Notre Dame got some heavy hitters. I want to hear y'all Notre Dame. Oh, that's that's a good one. Gotta do. Gotta do Notre Dame. It wouldn't be a show about college football, right? If you Talk about Notre Dame. I'll go. It's just pretty easy. I think you, you get a little bit, you get a little bit stuck. Uh, Joseph, uh, there's right. Oh, go ahead. We gonna start. We gonna start right where it needs to start at, man. Joseph. <laughs> uh, he said Joseph. Uh, Timmy. Obviously, because of the hello. Even if it, even if it wasn't this, it's still Timmy. Um, we have the bus. Wow! Ah oh, man, there's so many of them, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a lot of that I'm gonna have to leave off. Exactly. All right, so this is, you know, with um, I got to put that in there. Um, oh, man. There's golden. See, tape. it was guys that balled against USC <laughs> that didn't really necessarily win the league, but they were, they were was absolute SC killers. Like, and fuck, I'm just gonna say it, man. Tony Rice, man. Fuck that. Fuck it. Tony Rice, Joseph, uh, Baddis, and Tim Brown. I got uh because Tony Rice was a certified USC. Dish. I got Mr. Montana as well. I definitely not leaving the bus off. Tim Brown definitely deserves a Notre Dame list because he had crazy, crazy numbers. And one of the best defense alignments at that school, Alan Page. So, yeah. Wow. Damn. So I'm then... not even looking at this either. I'm going off straight memory of school. Yeah, that's all you can do. Is well, I don't even know Alan Page went Because if you, if you look the... this up, they're going to they gonna, they gonna give you a buttload of people. So that's what I'm saying. This is all off memory. There's a guy. Oh. Yeah, there's a guy named Chris Zori. That was, you know, not that much in the league, but in college, man. But he was in college. He was cold. I think I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, Stonebreaker. Another one. Uh, so, yeah, they didn't have guys. Right on up to uh, Michael Mayer, the current. Damn. The current Raider. Again. <laughs> Uh, for me, it was Joe Montana. Oh, Joe you guys Biden. agree with that? Agree with what? Oh, you got these? Yeah, I I put these these men. You went these men. No. You yeah, I have my Mister the man himself, Mister Joe Motherfucking Montana, four time Super Bowl winner, Joe Theismann. Golden Tate, and back in two thousand nine, and then uh, of course. Let me say this with, with absolute respect. Jerome Bettis. You can't you can't leave him out. He he is a bust for a reason. He was a wrecking ball in college, and then he be, was a wrecking ball in the NFL. To be honest with you, he probably was the best running back Honorable Notre, mention. Dame, Notre Dame ever had. Honorable mention, uh, Rocket is man.
never seen Rocket at Notre Dame. I'm going to send head on over to YouTube. We need it. Uh, this was another underrated school who had a few. Like I said, it's going off memory here. Had a Heisman winner. Had one of the goats come out of the school. Michigan University. So I'm going to start with the goat himself, Mr. Tom Brady. Mm -hmm. I'm going to start with Charles Woodsman, of course, Mr. Heisman. I'm going to say another cornerback who, who was dope there too, Mr. Ty Law. And of course, this was kind of a tie between him and his father, Steve and Alan Hutchinson. So, Hutch, my man, played for the Lions right now. He was a dog at Michigan, and his father, Steve Hutchinson, was dope there, too. But if I had to choose, I'd choose Steve. Steve Hutchinson was cool. So, yeah. My honorable mentions, it's just too many. Not There's a whole bunch to go off of. I'm not going to name any Michigan honorable mentions right now. That's another tit for tat episode. <laughs> yeah, for my... For my uh, um, Rushmore, for me personally, it was obviously the. F I'm I I wish I would have started because Marv, you took my first two, which was Tom Brady and Mr. Charles Woodson, but there's <laughs> also um I also have Desmond Howard on that as well. Oh, Des Howard, I forgot about him. Desmond Howard, and he also won a bowl with Green Bay too. <laughs> gotcha. That's the crazy thing. I was like, this man really won a bowl in '96. Against the Patriots, as a matter of fact. Wait, was that three? Woodson, Brady. Oh, um, starts with an A. God damn it. Um, don't tell me. You got a Anthony Mount Carter. Rushmore. I was going to say, you got a Mount Rushmore player, and you don't know the name. Anthony Carter. Ooh. So, uh, say your list again, Dre. It was Anthony Carter, Tom Brady, Desmond Howard, and uh, Charles Woodson. So, uh, that's my exact list. Oh, shit. Jesus Christ. Hey, great minds think alike. Ragu, you don't understand. I've been learning so much from you. I actually grew up watching Anthony Carter at Michigan. He was the first dude with uh, the long socks, ice socks, out there with the number one on. Ice was sweet as fuck. My mom liked him. <laughs> Anthony Carter. Hey, Carter. Went to the Vikings. Had a decent career in the league as well. Who else we got? Cook, University of Michigan. You got Blue Bud, Sooners. What'd you got? Man, you said it. Sooners. Go ahead. Oklahoma. What we got? Is I'll jump in. Another school. Bro. That's go another Billy damn Sales. school. That's another school for real. All right. Yeah, yeah. But I'm gonna jump right in and like just like you know, jump in the deep end. Billy Sam. Ooh. We're going to go Jamel Holloway. So I don't care what anybody says. You know, what he did after, didn't do nothing. The impact at the school, at the time, all of that shit. I mean, the championship. He was a sophomore. Uh, took Troy Aikman's job. Um, <laughs> Jamel Holloway. Uh, I am, so Billy Sam. Also, man, I'm going to say Keith Jackson. He, damn right as he said Keith Jackson it cut him out 
<laughs> there you go. Hold up. One second. Let me put my phone on the charger. Okay. Jesus Christ. I'm back. I'm there you go. You good. I don't want to leave nobody out. And, uh, there should be a. Oh, my bad. Uh, I hope I'm still there. You're there. Adrian Peterson. Oh, just, yep. Yeah. Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson. Jamel Holloway, Keith Jackson, and Billy Sims. That's my four. Fuck, who was it that just went to OU? He has a, such a big name. Oh, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Boz. He went to OU, correct? Brian Bosworth? Yeah, um, Bosworth. Boz was an honorable man for me. Yeah, I have him. I, know, I never knew what school he went to. I didn't know what school he went to. It was for me, it was Bosworth, Adrian Peterson, and you're gonna laugh at me for this one. But I watched him in OU and he was a baller, uh Baker Mayfield. I ain't gonna laugh at you. Uh I don't know. He was a dog as well. Baker. And DeMarco. Yeah, Baker was a dog. Baker Baker was a dog at uh OU. Um Trent Williams went there. I'm, I'm gonna wait for Brad to come back. Honorable mentioned uh, Ricky Dixon as well. Play safety. Gotta say Adrian Peterson. There is no sooner without saying Adrian Peterson. Yeah. Um. Uh, Billy Sims. Shout out to my pops, Leroy Selman. Yeah. Leroy Selman. Yeah, and, um, to be him. Guy did, this guy didn't get a fair shake in the NFL. Roy Williams. Oh. Oh. I forgot about him. Roy Williams, man. He was. Marcus Dupree, uh, honorable mention. And that's what I'm saying. It's Keith Jacks can be honorable mention for me. Baker is definitely one of I my got Keith Jackson on. Mr. Yeah. Joe Washington. It's a whole bunch of Sooners. DeMarco Murray, everybody forgot about him. Marco Murray. I, yeah, I put him in there. I put him on my – he was my fourth. Marco Murray put – oh, okay. I mean, yeah, I picked two guys that played on the same team with each other, yeah. uh, with Holloway and uh, Jackson. You, you know, so Sarah thing. They had a lot of great players. I'm going to take y'all to an under – I'm going to take y'all to an underrated school. Syracuse. Ooh. I feel like Pitt was the kind of as well. But uh, well, Pitt, Pitt has Pitt some heavy hitters, though. So. Pitt Auger has some heavy hitters. Some that motherfucker, though. Uh, they do. They do. And you one doesn't realize that until you, like this, you bring up something like this right here. You're like, well, mm-hmm. damn. Damn, damn. <laughs> but but like, uh, I didn't even realize it. You said the Q. Q is orange. Q. That's a good one. Syracuse. <laughs> oh, shit. God damn it, Marv. Want me to start off? Yeah, since that seems to be your, your I, real I'll, have, I'll start off. I'll okay. start off. I, I'm going to go. I'm going to go oh, shit. McPherson. One of the most slept uh, on players. Slept on players, uh, yep. And, uh, uh, Dad, if you ever see this, sorry for not saying this first. Let me go back. 
Jim Brown, McPherson, Ernie Davis. Uh, and it's it, it's got to be McNabb. It's got to be Donovan McNabb after that. So my pops gonna fuck with you after that McNabb, list, though. Uh, <laughs> Ernie Davis and day. Jim yeah. Brown himself. Yeah. See, in order in respect to my pops, I definitely will put Jim Brown first. Yeah, my bad, pops. Oh um, <laughs> no, he'll be all right. He he cool. He'll be all right. He'll live. Um. I got to put Marvin Harrison. Hey, my pops up there. Oh, your pops. Oh, okay. OG, OG Ragu. Yeah, okay. Like, um, yeah, how dare you didn't say Jim Bo at He first. said how dare <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to definitely put Jim Brown. Marvin Harrison was a dog, so I got to put Marvin Harrison, man. Um, I'm going to have to. Yeah. You're right about that damn uh, honorable mention. Because I Art feel like Monk. Don McPherson kind of Art Art Monk Arthur. is definitely wow. Art Monk. Um, Arthur. that's what I'm saying. It's so many. It's Arthur. it's an underrated school with so many legends, man. Even I mean, like legends. Jim Ringo. Damn, Damn. that's my mouth much more right there. And then you know, like the white friend is an honorable mention. Donovan McNabb's an honorable mention. It's Radio. so many. Floyd Little, it's so many honorable mentions you put. Uh, for me, it's for me, it's McNabb, Jim Brown, and Marvin Harrison. I mean, those guys are you need those more. guys. Oh shit! I'm over, oh I know I'm gonna have it. I'm just saying, like I just wanted oh. to say real quick, like but yeah. like combined between just those three alone, I mean, mm-hmm. all like those all those three are, are deal breakers for you, right? Yeah, I get you. And uh, sure, um, sure. he played. He won a bowl with New England, and was uh, he also played a big part over there in Syracuse. But uh, Chandler Jones before all that craziness. So you said Chandler Jones, Marvin Harrison, Marvin Hill. Harrison, Jim Brown, okay, and Donovan wow. McNabb. Both definitely, both definitely. Well, at least everybody got Jim Brown. Who was your um? Every, honorable everybody knows Jim better. Uh, I had Don McPherson. McPherson, okay. Donovan McNabb, and then um, Ernie Davis. Ernie, they shit. And Jim. Fuck! Brown. How could I forget him? Yeah, how you forget they made a whole movie about him, Dre? Bro, a whole, and I watched that. <laughs> they made a whole fucking movie hey, about him. He, and he was, he was fantastic, too. Yeah, he was. Bro, no, Ragu, fantastic is an understatement. That that is an understatement. That man was fucking. He was outstanding. Yeah. God, I'm about to go watch that shit again now too. Uh, um. Thank you for PM giving me a good State. idea today. Penn State. Uh. Wait, which one? Penn State. Uh M State Mission. You looking well, this shit up, Dre? No, I'm just saying you said M State, right? No, 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 not at all. State. Oh, Penn State. Penn State. I was about to say. I thought you said M State as in Michigan State. I was about to say Connor Cook because he was good at Michigan State, garbage in the NFL, but he was great under I don't uh, know, at, no at Michigan. Players. I don't got no players in Michigan State. Bro, Connor fucking Cook was amazing, but garbage with the Raiders in the NFL. All right. Hold on. This is one of my players. Y'all talk about that. Oh, Saquon. I, I have Saquon for Saquon sure as my as number one. I'll be back, Dre. Hold on. I got this. I got to take some cover. Oh, okay. Trace McSorley. What the fuck? You still there, Ragu? Oh, 
spot. There's Saquon Barkley, Trace McSorley. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. The only, two, the only two that I could really come up with is um, Saquon Barkley, of course. Uh, Trace McSorley was, wasn't great in the NFL, but he was, he was pretty good in, for Penn State. I just can't get those last two. I'm trying to – I got to really think about this one. Um, 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 so I got Saquon, Trace. Oh, he just came out of Penn State. Oh, Jack Ham and Franco Harris. That's who I was trying to think of for my last two. So, Jack Ham. Okay, and Franco. They got a lot of guys, man. They got a lot of guys that went there. There's, there's, yeah, bro. They even have uh, Lavar Arrington, and there's a lot of other players on there. But it's just because we have to do our Mount Rushmore and then a few honorable mentions, and that's where I'm like, who can I throw in there as my honorable mention? I, I'm trying to think. Like, is there? Man, Marv came out with some good came out with a good topic today. Yeah, he did. Do you have your four already? Um It's tough. I'm going uh Matt Millen for sure, you know, because of the right. Uh so we're gonna go Matt Millen for sure. Kurt Warner. Mm -hmm. Nice. No doubt about that. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, I don't mean to cut you off. The he went to back, Penn Kurt State? Warner. The running back, Kurt Warner, not the Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, wait a minute. <laughs> um. Man. Boy. Ray, you say your Penn State, yeah. So, I'm gonna go Saquon. So Matt Millen. Um, uh, Saquon Barkley. Kurt Warner, the running back, Kurt Warner. Yeah, I, was, uh, <laughs> I know. I know who. I know who that. I know who that. The fourth one is is obviously tough because they got so many cats. So I'm gonna have to stick to kind of like my era of dudes, man. Uh, damn, it's a, it's a few dudes that is gonna get left off, man. But I Mount Rushmore, man. Mount <laughs> I gotta, I got. It's kind of between two cats, man. So I, this is what I'm gonna do. That's tough. I know it is. <laughs> Marv had some good topics. Yeah, this was a good one. This is what I do. <laughs> I'm gonna say Larry Johnson, man. Oh, nice. Larry Johnson, Saquon, Kurt Warner, and uh, what my other guy was 
Matt Millen. Mm. So all running backs and a linebacker. Honorable me, mention Tom Bahali. I really uh I struggle with not putting Tom on there, but he played for the Chiefs. So I that was that's what made my decision for me. He played for the Chiefs. So we'll go honorable mention for Tom Bahali. And so did Larry Johnson, but yeah, damn. They both play for the Chiefs. Anyway. I got two running backs and Saquon, not one of them. Oh. Yeah, I got for me. Rest in, rest in peace to my man, Mr. Franco Harris. Yeah, I almost put Franco. I'm going to definitely put Lenny Moore. I'm going to put uh, Jack Ham. D- damn, you son of a bitch. Got to put Jack on there. Got to put my man Jack. Um... And Defensive some- lineman Dave Robinson was also great. So I'm a, a great, uh, so many, so many honorable, so many at Penn State, bro. bro so mm. yeah, I put Dave on there. Franco Lenny. Jack, Dave. is my Mount Rushmore at Penn State. For my also, Penn State. Rosie Greer and Paul Poss Lusney. Uh, oh, audible. damn. For my four, it was pretty much, well, Franco Harris, Jack Ham, LeVar Arrington, and Saquon Barkley. Uh, I don't mention LeVar Arrington. Uh, they got guys, man. Yeah. Penn State has some monsters. They run that rock because they got Penn State they is also count. looking for an announcer. <clears throat> Put your application here. Put your application here. I got uh, one of my boys right now, senior year. He's trying to go to Penn State too. So, hey, bro, Penn State has has some like really good programs too. Told him he got to get used to playing in that cold. Nippy out there, boy. Exactly. You're a Georgia boy, too, so you better buckle up, brother. But, yeah. He's a good kid, though, man. 